All right, brand new stream. Uh, I'm doing something different. Try to blow up on here so I can see if I'm doing it on my phone. So hopefully it's um, you're able to hear me. I don't really know. So, uh, here's what I'm doing. Uh, I have uh, a couple Amaretti flavors that I, I just got in a shipment. Uh, so I, I bought them on um, Amaretti, of course. And I want to go ahead and, and open them for you. The fun thing about them is, you can see on this box, there is literally no, no info for what it is. I mean, of course, I know what it is because I bought it. But uh, I kind of want to see, uh, to let you guys guess. Kind of what flavors I bought. So feel free to give your uh, opinions down in the comments and let me know what you think it might be. Uh, I'm just going to go through them. I'm excited about these because, frankly, I think Amaretti does a really great job. These are not that expensive. All of these were about ten dollars a piece, and they are all eight ounce uh, boxes. So we're going to go ahead and open them up. I got a couple of ones that are doubles, but first off. Uh, ooh, yeah, this one was interesting. I saw this. This is the Amaretti apple pie uh, flavoring, and it is, uh, again, these are all mainly made for brewing, so uh, I, I've been trying to make an apple pie mead for a while, and I, I went and bought some apple pie uh, can filling, and I threw that into a mead. It kind of tastes like apple pie. I don't really know. It's interesting. Um, but I think this would be kind of cool to see what kind of flavors. Um, I can get out of it. One thing I do want to do, let me link it real fast. And let's see if I can throw it in the description. I'll throw the, uh, the Amaretti link in the description to all the flavors. So this is where uh, you can find all of their, of their stuff. should be there now. Go check out that link real fast. It should be, you might have to refresh your, your actually you don't have to refresh. Let me just throw it in here. Uh, come on. Hold on, I'm sorry. This is, I didn't get a chance to, um, to put all, all these links in here real fast. Okay. There's ingredients you'll have to go to, I should have done all the flavors, uh, extracts, no sorry, artisan natural flavors is what I'm looking at right now. Okay, so the first one was apple pie, um, obviously some of these are going to be off the wall, uh, get on there real fast and check out the other ones because you might, uh, you might find one you like yourself, which would be kind of interesting. Uh, next one, again a couple, I think I have one repeated one, so. There will be a repeating one at some point. I got a wild berry, so I've been making uh, wild berry meads using nat or like wild berry frozen fruit that you get from Sam's or really anywhere else, um, and it's worked out pretty well. However, I do think that uh, this will be a little bit better. Okay, so this wild berry. Um, again, I'm excited about this. I like a wild berry mead. It's always ended up being pretty good. What's up, Jake Nelson? Uh, love you too, 25 chives. Uh, this first one, apple pie. Next one, wild berry. I kind of like that these boxes are discreet. It makes this kind of fun, um, you know. But it also, you know, it would be nice for them to have some interesting things on it. Ooh, here's another really interesting one. Uh, this is maple. Praline. I saw this on their website, and I was very interested in that. So, of course, I, I want to make uh, what's called an Acer Glen, which is a kind of mead that's made out of maple syrup. I want to do that at some point. However, I haven't done it yet. But I do, I did see this, this maple praline, um, natural or artisan flavoring, and it is pretty good. 
Uh, well, it's going to be pretty good. I know that for a fact. These are graded for, I don't think it says on there, but about 7 to 14 ounces by weight for 10 gallons. So you could, this is 8 ounces. So this could probably do uh, maybe comfortably 5 gallons, I think. How many ounces for 5 gallons? I actually don't know. That would be a lot though, and you could get a lot of flavoring if you did that. They have a ratio for you on the website, yeah they do. Um, there's some really interesting flavors for sure, but maple praline, I saw that and I was definitely already interested. On to our next one. Uh, let's see. Vernon, this is just a live stream where you get to, uh, we can get to talk and I'm doing this I mean, live, of course, so uh, we can converse. There's no charge, I mean, by any means. Uh, I'm just here to talk to you guys. I'm here to have a little fun. Um, I got these in literally probably about 20 minutes ago. Um, they came in a box. Of course, they're shipped to me. So uh, I was, I wanted to go ahead and open it and share it with you guys. So uh, next is a blueberry. I haven't made a blueberry mead in probably close to a year. And last time I did it, I used, uh, it was the, the ratio was like, what, four gallons of mead, almost five gallons of mead, and I had to use like nine pounds of blueberries. Um, that was a whole pain too, because at the time I bought the blueberries, they were pretty expensive. Blueberry is just a, a hefty, very expensive thing, to, expensive thing to buy. This right here, well hopefully, I think on all of these will comfortably do five gallons of mead. Um, I'm assuming the more flavor you want though, the more extract. This says 7 to 14 ounces by weight for 10 gallons. Uh, I don't know if that's like a light flavoring. That'd be an interesting test to see as well. And all the flavors are different too. Um, I used recently their watermelon one. Um, and this, the watermelon required for uh, my five gallons, I don't know if you watched that video or those videos, but they it was a five gallon mead and I needed about 16 ounces to get the flavor to pop. But I was also competing with the fact that there was fermentation still occurring. Therefore, uh, some of the sugar was gone. So that's uh, that was kind of a bummer. Vernon, there's a link down below. Um, you are down in the description. Hit that and you can go in and check them out. Trying to get some more. Are you doing the inaugural failures? No, I'm not doing that competition. Uh, you should do a few monthly meat recipes again. Yeah, I need to get back on top of that. Um, I've been, it's been a busy summer, and uh, I'm actually about to start up uh, the school year, so I'll be teaching again starting here in two weeks. So I'm, uh, I'm going to be busy again. I want to get the monthly meat going. Um, I've got some pretty cool stuff happening, uh, but I, again, just getting busy. Here is, I'll just go off of the side of this one. This is a mango. I'm trying to check out what's on the side. It's interesting. Okay, so this is a mango, um, mango flavoring, and I'm I'm currently doing. Uh, I'll go ahead and spoil it for a future episode. I am doing a mango mead out of this mango artificial flavoring. Um, so, and it's already going. I've also got another special thing happening. Um, I received a uh, a very cool conical fermenter, and uh, I'm. I'm testing that thing out, and so there will be some a video coming up soon about that. Uh, but this is a mango flavoring. I've never, well, I've done a mango mead a long time ago. I did a mango puree, and it didn't work super well. It was one of my first probably three or four meads that I'd made, and it didn't. The puree just made everything super unclear. Didn't really get a lot of flavor. Um, so hopefully this will add the sugar, or this will add the flavor in. The thing with these that you have to know is generally there is sugar involved, and it says on the back of it, um, you know, it says sugar, whatever. I'm trying to see how much sugar. It's it's a fair amount. That's where a lot of your flavoring is whenever you're making these meads. So if you are um, fermenting on this stuff, you might lose some of that flavor. It'll still be there, but it'll be lighter because your yeast are eating the sugar. Uh, how long would you say it took to get these in the mail? What's the average price? These are about $10 a piece, uh, $10.99 I think. If you look at the website, 
Um, I'm, these are the eight ounces. Let's take, for example, they've got some crazy ones. I'm just gonna read them off. If you're not checking out the website right now, go do it, it's really crazy. Uh, strawberry, artisan, passion fruit, mango, birthday cake, uh, cotton candy, raspberry, blood orange, pineapple, uh, blueberry, key lime. That one's one I almost, I, did I get that one? Well, I might have, I don't know. Peach, uh, salted caramel, Lemon, watermelon, coconut cream, vanilla bean, guava, uh, pistachio butter, uh, toasted marshmallow, espresso, coffee, blackberry, cinnamon bun, um, old fashioned peanut, banana, orange cream, the list goes on and on and on, and I'll keep reading here in a second. There's a bubblegum one. There are a ton of, of flavors. Uh, yeah, I've, I've heard a lot of people doing um, mango and, and uh, hot peppers. That works pretty well. Here's another one. I do know that somewhere in the world, yeah, here it is. I have two mangoes. I bought two mango ones, so I already talked about that here. I got 16 ounces of mango to play with. That's plenty. Um, and really pretty cheap. If you think about how expensive your actual fruits are when you make your meat, $10.99 for something that can... Um, Pretty well flavored, about five gallons of mead is a really good deal. So I'll check that out. Here's the next one. Cinnamon bun. Now I'll tell you, I'll spoil this as well. I've got a current project with cinnamon bun flavoring happening in it, and that video uh, will hopefully be going out pretty soon too. But um, and it's it will be very interesting. I had to buy another one um, to help out with my flavoring. But cinnamon bun is one of those that is really interesting. I got it originally at the Iron Bee in Minneapolis um, through the Meat House. And whenever I got it, I was trying to figure out what to do with it. I don't want to spoil my video by any means, but it'll be pretty cool. It'll be interesting. Okay, and our last one. Now I've got all these little bitty boxes to worry about. Last one. You also pay uh, some shipping with this, so I think I paid maybe about 10 bucks in shipping. But again, lots of flavors. I didn't spend more than, I think this is altogether $80. So that's a pretty good deal. Oh, I got another, well, it's kind of like an active ending. Sorry, I got another wild berry. So I had two wild berries, um, and then I had two mangoes here. I got a, then I got a blueberry, then I got the, the weird ones, cinnamon bun, and a uh, maple, or sorry, apple pie here, and then the maple praline. So these are all, all my flavors I got. Of course, there are tons of them still listed there. I stopped earlier at uh, orange, but there's grapefruit, apricot, wild berry, butter pecan, bubble gum, chocolate fudge, brownie, cranberry, uh, natural tart apple, maple praline, cookie dough, apple pie, white peach, French toast, um, pear. They have a couple little kits you can buy that are um, a couple different ones. Like they have a berry kit, a maraschino bean cherry, hazelnut praline, uh, baccio chocolate hazelnut, oatmeal cookie. Oh my gosh. Now I'm kind of mad. I could have used that. I made an oatmeal cookie stout. Man, that would have been really good. And I could have like used that as Darn it, I'm gonna have to try that beer again. Carrot cake, golly, there's some crazy, crazy flavors. Grape, that's pretty normal. Mud pie, Mississippi mud pie, Rocky Road. Man, there are way too many options there. That is awesome. Uh, go check that out, link in the description. A lot of ones you can, you can get that would be interesting. Definitely some cool needs to be made. Hold on, I'm catching up with all your stuff. Brown sour prickly pear, mesquite honey, nice, cool, excited. Did you ever start on that coffee mead, by the way? Hmm, you might find that very soon, I'm not gonna spoil. There's something, one of these, that's going in that coffee mead. I'll let you uh, figure that out on your own. Uh, it's too scared to do a weird mead? Try it, man. Especially for 10 bucks, you can get something like this. If it doesn't work out, great. Or if it doesn't work out, bummer. If it works out, great. You have a recipe to go on. Uh, birthday cake would be funny as a birthday gift. I think that would be interesting too. It would be kind of fun. Um, 
that would have been fun. My my birthday is in about a week, so that would have been fun to order and then make like a birthday mead or something. I don't know how that would work. Uh, so that'd be kind of interesting. So, anyways, I uh, unless you guys have any more questions, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off here in a second. Check out Amoretti. They've got some great products. You just heard me talk about. I mean, I listed probably 40 of the 50. There's still more on there you can check out. They're all kind of crazy, or some are crazy, some are totally normal, but I'm excited to work with these, and um, these can also be, I mean, they can be used in conjunction with other things if you want to put real mangoes in and stuff. But I also think they could be standalone flavors, would be interesting. Um, so it's worth a try. I, I think that I'll get a lot of, I'll have a lot of success with these. Um, and I hope that uh, I hope that they all turn out pretty good. You can buy bigger amounts as well on here on the Amoretti. Let's see, looking at salted popcorn. That looks that's interesting. You can buy a two pound container. You can also buy a ten pound container. You can also buy sixty pounds. Um, now, if you're going to use sixty pounds of this stuff, you are a big time big shot. So even ten pounds is quite a bit, unless you find the flavor you really like. In which case, it makes sense. So, um, I think somebody said it there. Weird, weird meads are awesome. Definitely make coconut curry. Whoa. Interesting. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm done here. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, check it out. Amber Ready. Great website. Also check out those other links. I have a video that went out this morning. If you haven't watched it yet, um, it was a homebrew mead versus a commercial mead. Uh, one of my very own, and it was at this table, so it was kind of fun. So you can go check that out. Um, of course, if you want to share my own meat experiences with people, go ahead and share that. But then share your own. Most importantly, help tell the world about me. Tell people about me because mead's a really cool uh, alcohol that no, not many people know about, other than the Budweiser commercial that came out at the Super Bowl last year. And that's our claim to fame right now: is a commercial that people laughed at about me. So. Let's try to get out there and tell them about mead and have them try it. So share your own, you know, go buy meads, stuff like that. There's lots of cool stuff you can do with it. But uh, thank you guys for tuning in for this random stream. And I uh, hope you will go out and buy some Amoretti flavors and tell me your own experience because uh, I don't, I, I think you'd enjoy them too. So anyways, see you guys in another video soon. Sorry, Lucas, I'm just finishing. See you all 